Hi guys, this is Web's Lesson Chat application, tutorial series with Ratchet WebSocket library, and under this part, we will learn, how to send and receive chat message with other data like, user name and chat send date and time. In previous part, we have already discussed, how to send and receive data under this WebSocket chat application, but here we will add some more data, which will be sent at the time of send and receive data, and in that part, there is only receiver can see chat message, but here sender will also can see chat message, which they have sent, under this chat room. So now let's start discussing this topic. So first we have chat.php class, and here we have go to on message method. This method will receive chat message, when one user is send chat message, and this method will send that chat message to other connected user. So here under this method, we can add some more data like user name, who has send message, and receiver user name also with send chat date and time data also. Under this methods, from this dollar message variable, we can access chat data like sender user ID and content of chat message. So first we want to convert that data into PHP array from JSON string. So here we have write dollar data variable is equal to JSON decode function and under this function we have write dollar message variable. This method will convert JSON string data into PHP array. Next, we want to get sender user name from user ID data, so chat receiver user can see sender user name, so for this we want to include chat user class, under this chat.php class. So here we have write require statement, with directory name function, and under this, we have write to time underscore, with dir and again two time underscore, this code will return path of this chat application root directory. After this, we have write, slash database folder name, slash chat user dot php class, so by using this statement, we can use the method of this chat user class, under this chat class. For use this chat user class method, here we want to create object of this class, so here we have write, dollar user object is equal to, new chat user class. Now we want to set the value of user id variable, so here we have write dollar user object, with set user id method, and under this, we have write dollar data user id variable. Next based on this user id variable value, we want to get that user details, so here we have write dollar user data variable is equal to, dollar user object with get user data by id method, this method will return single user data, which we have store under this, dollar user data variable. Now we have write dollar user name variable is equal to, dollar user data with user name variable so here we have store user name details under this dollar user name variable after this in dollar data variable we have add one more date time index and under this we have write date function and under this function we have write date time format so this way we have append date time data under this dollar data variable. Next, we have go to this for each loop, and first we have comment this code, and in place of this code, we will write another code. So here, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar from argument variable value, is equal to dollar client variable value, so this condition will check, if sender is receiver, then it will execute if block of code.
and under this block, we have write dollar data with from index, variable value is equal to me, so if chat message sender is receiver, then that user will see me in place of user name. But above condition false, and the sender is not the receiver, then it will execute else block of code, and here we have write dollar data from variable is equal to dollar user name, so other connected user will see user name, who had shared chat message under this chat room. Now we want to send data to each connected client, so here we have write dollar client variable with send method, and under this we have write JSON encode function, and under this we have write dollar data variable. So it will send data to other client in JSON format. Next, we have go to chatroom.php file, and here we have go to on message function, and this function has received data from chat class in JSON format. And here we have remove value from this row class variable and background class variable. Below this, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write data dot from variable value is equal to me, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. And under this block, we have write row class variable is equal to, bootstrap row and justify center start class. And below it, we have write background class is equal to bootstrap text dark and alert light class. But suppose above condition false, then it will execute else block of code. And here we have write row class variable is equal to bootstrap row and justify content end class. And below it, we have write bootstrap alert success class. So here we have defined class for sender and receiver client. Now we have want to display user name before chat message. So here we have write bold tag and between this we have write data dot from. So it will display user name. Same way we want to display chat send date and time. So here we have create one more division tag with class is equal to text write. And between this, we have write small tag and italic tag. And between this tag, we have write data dot date time. So it will display send chat date and time data with chat message. So here our code is ready now we have check output in browser. Friends, first we want to start server, so we have go to command prompt and then after, we have go to our chat application working directory. After going to our chat application working directory, here we have write php with bin folder name, slash server dot php, so it will start server. After start server, here we have already login with two user, under this chat application. Before send chat message, first we have open inspect element in both login user, so we can see which data has been sent, while we have send chat message. So here in one user account, we have type something, and then after we have click on send button. So after click on send button, here we can see that user ID and message data has been sent, and received from user name, chat message and data time data also received at sender client side. Now in another browser, this is chat message receiver client, 
and here we can see from user name, chat message and date and time data has been received. Now we have checked chat message sent and received in real time, so here on screen, we can see two user has been connected, under this chat application. So here, we have typed something in one chat user, and click on send button, so here on other receiver client, we can see chat message has been received, with user name with date time, and here we can see Donna Hubba send this message. And at sender client side, we can see me in place of user name, so here sender also see which message he has share in chat room. Now in other user, we have typed something, and click on send button, after click on send button, here we can see chat message has been received with user name and date time data. So friends, in this video part, we have learned how can we send and receive chat message, with other data like user name, and date time data, and in this part, sender also can see which data, they had share in chat room, and in next part, we will learn how can we store or insert chat message data in MySQL data, under this chat application using Ratchet WebSocket library, so here we have stopped this video, and we will be meet in next video, and lastly thank you for watching this video.